Hello! In this video we'll be rebuilding my axles using a boot kit from Fabi Bielstein, a satisfying video of chemical paint remover, also watching paint dry, and my wife brings me ice cream. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to rebuild these axles here. For that I have bought boot kits, but before we actually go ahead and just start replacing stuff, let's check to see whether or not new boot kits even make sense. There is some play in that one. Let's try the other end of this one does have some play as well. Let's try this one. Some play. And some play as well. Kind of seems like this one here was the worst. There has to be some play, otherwise it wouldn't be able to move freely. But this one does seem just, I don't know, a little bit excessive. Uh, I'm tempted to buy new ones, but for now I can't actually afford that. So what we are gonna do being that we do have some new kits here. What we are gonna do is we're gonna try and rebuild them and then we'll then we'll use them as is and see how it goes. So this is how it looks. First we remove this one here, we'll need to clean these frets here and these splines. Having a big plier here helps a lot. You can't go and open it like this as well there and let's see whoops this isn't a hammer but I guess if you're brave enough anything's a hammer or a dildo like this now we don't actually have to conserve these as we'll be replacing these so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna destroy them really. Okay. There. Good. And this one as well. Now I'll grab an old cloth and try and remove some grease. Okay, with this now cleaned, we can go ahead and just slide this out here. There. There's a Small circle clip here, we'll remove that. There, get behind it, there. 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 That one comes out. Then this one comes out. And that side is now off. 
Okay, so with these two here removed, um, we could now go ahead and slide these rubber boots on and then install it all again using new CV joint grease obviously and it's very important that you use CV joint grease and not bearing grease uh, as this has a higher pressure rating I believe it's called um, but what we're gonna do though is we're gonna try and make this look just a little bit better kind of have an idea I have some leftover of this paint remover I wonder how that will fare Ooh. now let's what does the instruction say from 10 minutes to 40 minutes. Two layers of this, 40 minutes between each. The paint is still there, but it has definitely been, been weakened. You see, I think the rest of this I'll remove with one of these. It's somewhat clean, still not perfect and ready for paint yet but I have some 280 grit sandpaper hmm this is kind of interesting it's revealing some sort of I don't even know what it is
Okay, so here the semi-rebuilt axles are. Paint has been curing for, I don't know, 12, 18 hours or so, and it's not completely dry yet. Well, it's dry to the touch, but it's still a little bit um, fragile. Uh, I did make a mistake, though, other than the Apparently, I hadn't turned on the microphone when I actually installed the new boots and, and the CV joint again. But also, for masking tape, I was stupid enough to use some duct tape, which now means that, at least on this boot here, the duct tape rubbed off. That's, that's quite a bummer, but I'll look into how to remove that once it's installed, but this is how it looks. All right, before we actually install the new axles, uh, I just want to adjust the uh, handbrake side here. Um, BMW says to turn this adjustment screw here until the wheel has been braked uh, and thus from there on you turn it backwards about 10 clicks. First though we need to install the brake disc. Now the brake disc is, uh, is old and uh, I'm going to do brakes on a later video because the brakes look like shit. But for now, I really just want everything buttoned up, back together, working, driving, and then, then I can do stuff such as brakes and a little bit of front suspension and stuff. So let's carry on and, uh, and install the, uh, the handbrake. There. Now it's starting to break, I believe. Yep. But it's probably not really breaking. Let's see. Nope. We'll adjust it further. There. That should do it. And then 10 clicks back, you will have to use our ears and common sense. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now it moves freely again. Good. Next step of the handbrake will be to adjust it from the inside here. Pulling this lever five times or so will help seat the brake shoes. BMW says to give this two clicks and then one, two, once that is done, you simply go and check if the, if the wheel is braking. If it isn't, then you adjust uh, these cables here, these screws here, uh, until they are. Two clicks, and that wheel doesn't break yet. Okay, now the wheel is actually breaking. Then BMW says that at one click, there shouldn't be any brake applied, so let's, that's one click, I'll test. That seems to do it. One click, it isn't brake, uh, it doesn't brake. We'll give it one more click. And now it breaks. Okay, we'll do the same 
fold the other side. Kind of feels like it started to break there. Let me go check. Yep. It breaks. We'll do one click there. No breaking action. Good. Feels good as well. BMW also says to once one click is applied, the braking illumination should start. If it isn't, you'll need to adjust the position of the switch. We can't actually test that being that the battery is disconnected and such, but that's how it is. Good. Let's do the axles then. I have installed this specialty socket, which will help me put it through. Frets are cleaned, both in the hub and on the axle here. I'll try not to touch the paint too much. I don't think this will make much of a difference. I just really want to protect the boots and paint. Like this, good. And now this specialty socket is poking out. Then I should be able to pull it out the rest of the way with this tool here by screwing this tool in here I'll add a little bit of copper grease to the to the frets here yeah this is now it's moving I can see it from this side here and it's moving rather nicely. Seems like something bottomed out there. If not, the actual axle nut will definitely be able to take it the rest of the way. Let's remove this and see what it looks like. Yep, and I have a new axle nut here. We'll just install temporarily, not torque it down yet, like this. It really bothers me that, that, the, that the duct tape left these marks here. I'll need to look into that. Mm, there. Nice. This one also has a bit of copper grease on the frets, no, on the splines, sorry. around there, this here, and feels like it wor it's working, yep, I'm bottoming out, let's remove this tool, and then hopefully we can install this as well. It's not actually a 10, but a 10 will work. The correct size is E12. Hey, how's it going?
Nå, Gud, har du øvet køb is? Nice, mand. Where was I? A wife just brought me ice cream. I love ice cream. Now, BMW says that there are two uh, versions of this screw, a silver and a black one. The silver one is supposed to be tightened 52 millimeters, while the black one is, I believe it's 65 millimeters or so. These appear to be black, but that's because I actually painted them. They're the silver ones, so we'll tighten these 52 newton meters. Now, how do I actually tighten it without damaging the paint? This one here, and then... Now, we could go and just pull the handbrake, but I think a tire iron will be enough. And then just block the wheels. Let's see. Six. And then just to check, we're gonna pretend that's a seven. There. Seven. All right. Now we actually need to tighten the outer end of the axle. That should be done with the car on the ground, on the with the wheels installed, handbrakes pulled, and then a lot of force. So let's try that. Wheels on. I've pulled the handbrake and they're supposed to be tightened 300 newton meters. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't have a torque wrench that big. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna give it what we call good and tight. There, that's probably around 300 newton meters. I still need to remove the wheel to, to lock the, uh, the nut here, but I'm gonna do this on the other end. Whew. Like this, good. Okay, that'll be it for this video here. We did manage to rebuild these axles here. I still need to clean off some remains of, uh, of the duct tape I used for masking tape. Um, but the axles are in, new grease, new boots, torque to spec, everything. Anti-roll bar installed again. Wheels are on, brakes are on. Brakes are a little bit uh, old. They don't need a rebuild, but I'll rebuild them a little bit later down the line. Um, but at least now we're at a position where it's a matter of some exhaust and heat shielding and inner fenders in the front and so on. Nothing really that big. May, well, maybe the, the exhaust, uh, the headers that I installed, I will need to fabricate some new tubing as I'm not um, happy with the way it is right now. Uh, but at least we're making some progress and hopefully by the end of the next video we'll have this car back together and uh, drivable. A uh, big thank you for watching. Um, I hope you found this video any will helpful or interesting and if you did please consider liking or subscribing. Um, I really appreciate the support that I do get and all the, the comments that um, suggest improvement or other ways to tackle stuff or just giving a, a thumbs up really. So yeah, 
um, a big thank you for that. I hope you have a nice day. Bye.